Hello, my name is Shipwreck Pirate, and welcome to The Supper. It's a short horror story game uh, that I found on Steam, and I'm really excited to play. So let's get into it. Ooh, blood and bones. Little witch lady. Miss Appleton, wake up! <clears throat> I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I, I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Swordfish tail. Empty pot. Embers. Special sauce. Recipes list. Okay, here we go. Recipes du jour. Pigeon a la sauce rosé. Spicy red swordfish. Hand and tongue stew. Mm. So let's do the pigeon. One wild pigeon cover with special sauce. Swordfish is one blue swordfish tail. Add one chili pepper, cover with special sauce. Hand and tongue stew. One plump human hand. Add one slimy tongue, cover with special sauce. That's not gross at all. Oh, wow, it's dark. Oh, okay. Light. I know it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Candles? Okay, can't do anything there yet. Where is a lighter? Doorbell? Okay outside pigeon oh we can't get the pigeon yet wooden cart can't do anything with the cart uh what's over here fisherman no time to hang out with your friends mrs appleton we have work to do okay Well, let's leave the cool ship alone. There's the wooden cart and the pigeon in our tavern. Oh, wait, I didn't want to go back inside the tavern. <coughs> Lever? Can, okay, can't do anything with that. Jail door? Can't do... What am I supposed to do? Sign? The Joyous Lobster Inn. Best, pla best place in town for a snack. Okay, so there's got to be something in here that I missed. What did I miss? Candle chandelier. I don't, it doesn't seem like I've missed anything. Fire tongs. Okay. So now we pick up an ember with the fire tongs and go into the dining room and use the fire tongs on the candle chandelier. And then that lights. Yeah. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. But we don't have any food for the starving souls. Uh, let's see. Can I use those? Do I have a weapon in here? Solid wax, swordfish tail. Okay, can't do anything with that. Uh, I need... No time, what? We don't want to make sure, okay, so go back to the special sauce. But the special sauce was already ready. Okay, I guess we, mmm, smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. 
Here they come. Okay. Doorbell. Do you think it could be them? Them? Them who? Customers. Oh, pirates. <laughs> Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit, quickly. So what would the gentleman like to start with? <gasps> Excellent choice. Pigeon a la sauce rosé rose is our chef's specialty. Okay. The deadly chef. Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. Okay. And this one wants the spicy red swordfish. Personal favorite. A mouthwatering delicacy. That's healthy as well. Lots of omega-3. So that's spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. Pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with a delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problems remembering them. Okay, so let's... I need the swordfish tail. I, I can't take the swordfish tail. So, okay, uh, is there a weapon in here? Special sauce, recipe list, empty pot, swordfish tail. Okay, so I have a scoop of solid wax. Do I take the solid wax and... Okay, I, I go somewhere with the solid wax. Can I throw the solid wax at the pigeon? No, no I cannot. Okay, does it have something to do with the fisherman? Is he still here? Oh, he's dead! Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Fishbowl. Boot? Why do I need a wet boot? These puzzles are strange. Why do I need a wet boot? <laughs> uh, I hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. Throw the wet boot at the pigeon. Yeah! Dead pigeon. That's the main ingredient for pigeon supreme a la sauce rosé. Now let's finish the dish. Okay. Pigeons with sauce for the old man. Pigeon. No. Pigeon. Yes. Not even cooked pigeon. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeons. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, so hard to say. No, she didn't even cook the pigeon. That's insane. We don't even cook the pigeon. Sir. Sir. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry. They're, oh, they won't notice he stopped breathing? <laughs> can I... No, I can't use the scissors on him. Oh, I can use the scissors on the 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 fin. The fin. The swordfish fin. You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. <sighs> em embers. Uh, special sauce. Wax. 
what 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 eh okay I can't put the scissors in the boiling wax uh so I need to sharpen the si how okay maybe I, I he wanted that so I need a hand and uh, what? Okay, so I need to find some way to sharpen the scissors. And I think I get the tongue and stuff from in there. And no, they don't do anything with that. Uh, I don't think there's anything left over here by old Pete. Poor old Pete. Oh, rope. Uh, can I... Oh, now I can go in Old Pete's ship. What does Old Pete have up here? Cap uh, Captain's cabin. Oh, a dead man. Hmm. I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Butcher knife. Sip. Oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Oh my god. Well, now I have a knife. Oh. Puddle. Can't do anything with the puddle. But I... I do I take the seedling? Seedling looks completely parched. We need to find it a nice drink. Uh, okay. So I need something to scoop the puddle with. But this knife, I can cut off the tail now. Can I take one of these cups? No. Oh, empty water jug. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to cut off the swordfish tail real quick. Alright, now I have a swordfish tail and an empty water jug. So I can take the empty water jug over to the boat and fill it up and then water the seedling. Yeah. Puzzle solving. I love solving puzzles. Down we go. That's disturbing. Why can we see her bones? In the puddle. Drip. Drip. Full water jug. Give it to the plant. This is such a cute little game. And this is such a nice environment. Like, the environment's gorgeous here. The butt crack. And the characters are cute. I mean, this is such a cute style. I love this. This is... And I'm liking the... I'm not really a point-and-click game kind of person, but this is... I mean, it's technically a point-and-click because that's all I'm really doing. Perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. But I, I'm enjoying this. This is really fun. Alright. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Out we go and give it to you, mind-controlling fungus. Bon appetit. He eats it and dies, and we take his tongue. Yep, dead. Oh yes, a satisfied stomach. This delicious-tasting is a pleasure worth dying for. I don't know how to say that word. Ha! <laughs> Do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Oh, she looks terrified. <clears throat> All right, tongue and jailer keys. So now we can go over to the jail. Outside. Over to the jail, where I assume we get something useful. Hand. Skeleton hand. We needed a fleshy hand, not a skeleton hand. Can we, I can't use it on the lever. And I can't just 
pull the lever. Okay, so let's go back in the tavern. And... Can't use that on him. What's this nonsense? That's not what this gentleman ordered. Focus. Okay, sorry. Well, he's dead. He's dead. One plump human hand and a slimy tongue. So, oh, I put it in the wax to make it plump. And then I combine them. And then we add the special sauce. Let's go kill a shark. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Here you go, deadly shark man. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Eat it and die. I love the noises they make. Oh, wow. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most disconcerting stomachs. Discerning stomachs, I think. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great! Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. He's not hungry. He's not hungry. He's not hungry. Can I open the chest? Be patient? Okay, being... Uh, uh, can't do anything with the lever still. Can't go any farther that way anymore. Why is it now red? Oh, boat's gone. Okay. All right, we use the wooden cart. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. All right, now take it into the tavern. Dum dee doom. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of. Oh, there you are. So we push them into that, and it cremates them. Yeah. Pull the lever, Kronk. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get. St Is this the special sauce? Ew! <laughs> well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. What does... What is she working for? Oh. Ghost? What, what did she... Obtain? Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. Oh, I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You were my dearest friend. Then those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen. I knew I was done for. That's how she lost her legs. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I won it, fair and square. Oh. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside the chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please find a quiet place to bury my bones near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. Oh, that, that was so sad.
sadly sweet. Oh, is she dreaming of them? Oh. That was such a good little game. I loved that. Oh. That was wonderful. Amazing work. Amazing. The story was really well done. The, the gameplay was simple, but really fun. The puzzles were fun. I loved this. The music's gorgeous. Amazing work. I... Amazing. Just absolutely stunning work. This was so fun. Oh. It's wonderful. Thank you for playing. Oh, that's so cute. This was a wonderful little game. Absolutely wonderful. Um, thank you all so much for watching. This was really fun. I hope to do more little games like this. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.